What's up everybody? It's your boy Beam here uh, for breakfast. I had, we accidentally left our uh, Five Guys fries in the car yesterday um, when we went to Five Guys and I found them in the seat. Not in the seat, but um, I found the bag, like the Five Guys bag on the, on the floor in front of the passenger seat. And I was like, oh, I'll just eat these. And I ate them. You're not supposed to eat food that's like room temperature <laughs> and sitting for a while, but I ate it and I am not sick yet. So I think I'm fine. Uh, but yeah, that would, you know, they were good. They're like, um, Five guys like Cajun fries. Um, for lunch, I had quinoa salad, and for dinner, I had a pupusa and some green beans, like some canned green beans, uh, and they were pretty good. Um, yeah, uh, today I woke up at 4.52. Um, I got to work. Um, we, there's this PPE. Oh, the locker. I remembered something. Um, the, so we have this PPE cabinet, and it's just always sucked, and there's some gloves that don't match. All the masks were there when we got there, and they're very dirty from whoever was wearing the mask before, and that's like using someone else's toothbrush, you know, like big face respirators. Um, and so I got this big bucket, I made some disinfectant solution, you know, I cleaned them off and did all that stuff. Um, so that, that went pretty okay. Um, I cleaned those off, um, and, you know, then we just threw away the PPE cabinet, because, um, it's not good, <laughs> it wasn't meant for PPE, and it's not good for PPE, um, and the cabinet's kind of falling apart, and it was there when he got there, so. Also, the thing about cabinets and just sort of flat surfaces is if you have a place that people can place things on, people will just place things on top of them, no matter what, right? I mean, it's not something, like, after three years, people are going to place things on flat surfaces, right? Um, so, um, it's just better to not have the cabinet there. But you may wonder, oh, if the PPE went in this cabinet, um, where will all the PPE go? Um, and I haven't seen it, but my boss made a big cart of PPE, so, and it's on wheels. So, and it's, like, in little cubbies, so you have, like, the cubby for, like, respirators and the cubby for gloves, and it's, like, gonna be nice, I haven't seen it yet. But the theory is that you're going to be able to walk in, right? You, you walk into the lab, right? To the right of you is just a bench, right? You can sit down, take off your shoes, right? Then there's the lockers, right? We didn't have lockers before. They're in the electrical room and it was very hot in there. Uh, then you put your stuff in the lockers, right? And you lock it up, you know? And then you have this PPE uh, cart right in front of you. You could just grab your stuff and then you have it on and you're good. And it's crazy. Um, and that didn't used to be the case before. Previously, you know, you'd walk in, you'd walk into the shop, you'd sort of, luckily I show up to work in my work clothes, but you walk into the shop and you sort of just hope people don't look at you as you're changing, you know? Um, and you know, and then you're changed. Uh, and then you have to squeeze behind this table, right? Which is right in front of the PPE cabinet. Mm. Uh, you know, we did mock OSHA everything's getting a lot better. Um, but, you know, table right in front of the PPE cabinet. And you'd like go through, go through, go through. You'd get two gloves that aren't matching, you'd throw them on. Um, you throw on like a temporary like N95 respirator mask. And the whole experience would just suck, right? And it'd take a really long time to get ready. Now everything's in one area right when you get in. And uh, it's great because it's never been like that. Uh, and because I've been there, I, I'm sort of streamlining the process, so. I'm happy about that. When school starts, I'm probably gonna keep working at um, where I work. Um, I'm just probably gonna be working like one or two days a week though, because you know, schools, I'll be busy with school. Uh, do you wanna see some cool stuff that's on my phone? I got the iOS 17 beta. I'm on beta two now. And one of the features is that you're able to um, have you, you speak like 150 phrases into your phone and then it can replicate your voice. So one second, I'm gonna pause it as I type something. Okay, so you're gonna see my, you're gonna see my home screen. That's okay, right? Yeah, okay. Um, this isn't, hold up, there we go. This isn't how it's supposed to look. It's not supposed to be down there, but like, look. What's up everybody, it's your boy, Meme here. For breakfast, I had a banana and a I was hoping the uh would be What's longer. Up everybody? It's but... Yabba White meme here. For breakfast, I had a banana and a... And that's really crazy. You gotta say like a hundred phrases into your phone though, and it also steals your voice. 
So maybe that's not a good thing to have. I opened YouTube. There you go. Sorry. Um, what's another thing? Is there anything else interesting? Not really. No, right? Um, I mean, you can look at the moon phase and the weather app if you're <laughs> into that. Um, I'm sorry, my, my foot's issue. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, so then I got home and uh, yeah, I had to put boots in green beans. Um, uh, then, God, about 20 minutes ago, I, I you know, I've learned that, uh, you know, when it comes to general health, uh, if you have a craving for something uh, and you don't eat it in a few days, uh, that craving is going to come back and it's going to be even stronger and you're going to eat way too much food. So it's, you know, it's best if you're craving something just to have it, you know, uh, and, you know, just, you know, just account for that, right? Um, the possi like, just account for the possibility of, like, wanting to eat, um, like, a bunch of food later. Um, so, about 15 minutes ago, I had, um, some, the rest of the potato salad was actually three days expired. I've had 10 day old expired potato salad and it totally tasted normal. So three day old was fine. Um, and then I had a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese and then I had some quinoa salad cause I was like, well, you know, my reasoning in my head was like, well, I wasn't very full at all after dinner today. Um, and typically I'm very full after dinner and I still lose weight. So I don't know, uh, but yeah, I'm kind of done losing weight um i'm gonna like get an exercise mat i'm gonna do some calisthenics it's gonna be okay i keep talking about that i keep talking about uh, about that i'm not doing it um i'm going to uh, tomorrow I watch an oppenheimer so i'm happy about that it's not 70 millimeter imax like I'm, like what my dad said but you know there are only like 20 of those you know you got the best imax you know in seattle and you think it's the best one but no there are only like 20 best ones in the united states you know so you know, i don't blame them um, but yeah. All right. See you. Oh, also today's like my super Friday cause my boss is on vacation next week and no. so I'm on vacation. All right. See you. Dude.